What is going on guys, Quality XA here today and today I'm actually bringing you guys a brand new video on Destiny 2. We're going to be speaking about the winner of the Faction Rally as well as the brand new Hotfix. Now before we actually get into this video, if you guys would like to win a Heart Emblem, I want you guys to smash a like on this video, subscribe if you guys are new around here as well as comment in that comment section below what faction you guys are going to be going with in the next Faction Rally. So let's get right into this. So first off, Dead Orbit actually won the Faction Rally. Um, I wasn't really surprised at that. I'm a big fan of the Dead Orbit gear. It wasn't actually the best for the start of this. Uh, I, th I do believe Future Warcock had the best gear. But regardless, the Dead Orbit definitely looks pretty cool. I really love the black and white colours. But um, next time, I do believe that I will go with Future Ra Warcock. But regardless, still a pretty good faction rally and a really cool event. I just hope next time they had some more stuff in, maybe even Sparrow Racing would be pretty darn cool. But regardless, it was still pretty good. And if you guys do want to actually get the scout rifle for dead orbit you can pick it up for 1000 glimmer if you guys were part of dead orbit and if you guys were part of any other faction you can buy your faction weapon for 50,000 glimmer but regardless pretty cool and cannot wait to start using that scout and see what it's actually like and then next up we actually have the brand new destiny 2 hotfix which is 1.0.3.1 so with the items, there's been a fixed issue in which players could lose access to their veterans' transmit effect. There has been a fixed issue in which clan engrams would grant Trials of the Nine and Raid rewards at only 10 power. Now I'm really glad that they fixed this because there is a lot of the times where I do get my clan rewards and only get 10 gear. And in my opinion, that really sucks uh, considering your clan does work so hard to actually get these engrams for everybody. Next up, we've also got a fixed issue in which the action button on Faction Rally's emblems displayed a discard instead of store. So some people actually discarded their Faction Rally emblems, which was quite weird. But regardless, it's fixed for the next one. So for the quest, there's been a fixed issue in which progress for the exotic quest step, His Highness's Seal, was not incrementing properly. It will now increment plot properly in the raid which is pretty darn good next with the raid there's been a fixed issue in which raid milestones would not show for some players after the weekly reset there's also been a fixed issue in which players could enter a state where they are continuously killed if they finish a raid encounter at the exact moment of failure now that must have been really really annoying but regardless pretty good that they have fixed that shouldn't be in the game anyways but glad that they have sorted that for some players and next up we have crucible there's been an added invisible physics and kill volumes to keep players inside the intended playable area on the following maps eternity altair of the flame Emperor's Respite, Legion's Gulch, Javelin 4 and the Dead Cliffs. There's also been added invisible physics to all stairs in the Dead Cliffs to allow grenades to bounce properly and there's been adjusted spawning system values to reduce the frequency of players respawning into dangerous situations on all maps which is pretty good it really does avoid spawn killing which will hopefully be pretty good in the new crucible hopefully there's no getting rocketed or uh, power weapons straight away off of spawn but regardless some pretty good changes in there in that comment section below guys i want you to let me know what the best change was or the best hot fix should i say but as always if you guys did enjoy this video please do smash a like subscribe if you guys are new around here and as always i'll see you guys in the next one peace